viewers welcome to another session of my pharmacology series so today the topic of my discussion what i'll be discussing about is the mood stabilizers so particularly this comes under the anti manic drugs what i'll be discussing today so particularly when talking of the mood stabilizers drugs that comes the main the mnemonic or the short trick what i'll be discussing today is the mnemonic what i have made over here is that is the m of the mood and a of the anti manic so viewers just by looking at the initials of the mood and the a of the anti we can very easily make out as to what are the anti manic drugs or the mood stabilizers so viewers the m of the mood is going to refer we can remember from the m of the mood we can remember the main agent what is there that is the lithium carbonate so among the category the when talking of the mood stabilizing drugs or the anti manic drugs the main the most important drug what is being used as a mood stabilizer is the lithium carbonate so this is the main agent now the a of the anti manic it is going to refer to the alternative agents what are being used so the alternative agents what are being used it clearly shows it the alternative agents what are used are the anti epileptic all right so the anti epileptic that is the a of the anti epileptic and the a of the alternative the m was the main agent m for main and a refers to the alternative agent that is the anti epileptics so anti epileptic drugs like carbamazepine and sodium valproate are the other agents or the drug of choice which are used as anti manic drugs so viewers this was my mnemonic or the short trick as to how we can very easily make out and remember the main classes of the compounds what are used as mood stabilizers or anti manic drugs now just a short review as to what are the side effects or the adverse effects of the lithium compounds that is the mood stabilizers so here again i have made a mnemonic that is l i t h i u m of the lithium carbonate we can just remember the initials of the letter lithium to make out one of the side effects or the adverse effects of such drugs so the l of the lithium refers to one of the side effects that is the leucocyte and the i refers to increased so one of the side effect of the anti manic drugs that is the lithium carbonate is leucocytes are increased that is the patient can manifest it in the form of leucocytosis next while moving on to the t of the lithium here it refers to tremors so the patients who are on anti manic therapy or anti manic drugs they can experience a side effect particularly those patients who are on lithium carbonate lithium drugs they can experience tremors as well now moving on to the h of the lithium here it refers to hypothyroidism so the patients who are on lithium therapy they can manifest hypothyroidism moving on to the i u and m so the i refers to increased and u refers to urination so patients who are on lithium drugs they can experience increased frequency of urination and the last m of the lithium it refers to moms should be aware so the young ladies or the young women young moms they should be aware just because these lithium drugs or the anti manic or the mood stabilizers lithium drugs are going to cause certain teratogenic effects which is going to affect the fetus so moms should be aware about these mood stabilizers particularly the lithium so viewers this was my analysis or the short trick as to how we can very easily remember about the main agent and the alternative agents of the mood stabilizers and the adverse effects too viewers if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my newer videos thank you for watching